Okay, Kip Stars. Uh, today we are going to be solving a word problem um, in which we're dealing with what we call fraction of a set. Um, so a set is going to be the whole, and a fraction, of course, is going to be um, a part of, the, of that whole. So when we, when we read these word problems, again, we're figuring out who and what's involved, and then we're figuring out how to model that. So when we think of this word problem, let's uh, think about the entire idea about the word problem as opposed to just, uh, just like a key word here or there. All right, so let's read it. Sean has 63 classical songs on his MP3 player. So I know that there are 63 classical songs on something. Um, that's seven-eighths of his entire collection. What is seven-eighths of his entire collection? the 63 songs. So 63 songs is 7 eighths of an entire collection. Okay. How many songs does Sean have all together? This problem is about Sean's songs. Okay. So let's write down Sean's songs. If I draw a bar, this bar represent his entire collection. Now, if I go back to the word problem, it says that Sean's entire collection is, is uh, partitioned into eight equal parts. Looking right there, it says um, that the denominator tells us how many equal parts this collection is broken up into. So it says it's broken up into eight equal parts. So I'll do that. I'll break the whole up into eight equal parts. To break a whole up into eight equal parts, or eighths, we'll find what half of a whole is. Then we'll find what half of each half is. Now I have quarters or fourths, and now I'll find half of each fourth. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal pieces. Now I go back and I say, okay, I know seven eighths of this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eighths of his collection is classical songs. So I'll put a C for classical. I also know in the word problem that it says Sean has 63 classical songs. So from here to here must be 63. And if I look at this, um, I know that it, it is 63. Seven of the eight equal parts is equal to 63. It says, how many songs does Sean have all together? So all together would be his entire collection. So I'm trying to figure out how much his whole collection is worth. If I model this, and I take a look and think of the idea behind it, what I'm basically saying is 63 has been divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven equal units. So I know that seven units gives me um, 63. So I'll write seven units give me 63. I want to find out what just one of those units is worth. To do that, I'll write one unit gives me now what am I doing to get from seven to one using either multiplication or division? I am using division. So seven divided by seven is one, and 63 divided by seven, let me write that down, 63 divided by seven is equal to nine. So I know one unit, one of these units right here is nine. So that's nine, 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 and that's nine. The question is trying to ask me, how much are they all together? So I don't want to figure out what one unit is. I want to figure out what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units is worth because that's what my question is asking me for. So eight units give me, what am I doing to get from uh, one to eight using multiplication? I'm multiplying by eight. So I'll multiply nine times eight as well. And what do I get? 72. This must be 72 units. Sorry, 72. So to answer the question, how many songs does Sean have all together? 
Sean has 72 units, 72 songs, sorry, all together. Hope that you enjoyed.